My name is Wangeshi Nderito. I bless the Lord for giving me this opportunity to stand here. Really, I did not deserve it. And so I pray that he alone shall receive the glory in the name of Jesus. Allow me to also thank our bishop, our senior pastor and bishop, Bishop Jimmy Kimani and Reverend Alice Kimani. In absentia, come on, celebrate those graces. In absentia, we bless the Lord for them in the name of Jesus Christ for even allowing me this opportunity. They had every right to say who you are. Amen. Allow me to also celebrate our pastors. Hasn't the Lord done us well? Now it's been, we have been added unto Bona Sifiwe. Celebrate the Lord together with me to celebrate our pastors in absentia and even those that are present, Pastor Beatrice, Pastor Shege, Sharago, Pastor Washo, and all our pastors, Pastor Brian was here and just left. Please pass my regards in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Like I said, my name is Wangeshi Nderito. Nanderito ni Baba Yangu Bona Sifiwe. Amen. Aha. And my working title here you clarify. My working title is When King Uzia Must Die. King Uzia Must Die. Tell your neighbor, King Uzia. Na jo na shindwa ni nani yutu na uwa leo sasa. Sasa uni nani tu na uwa. Now Yesu came and Jesus came that we may have life and life in abundance. Ni nani yutu na uwa. But King Uzia must, King Uzia must die. Give me Isaiah 6 verse 1. And we will read all together so that we may know who is this that we are killing today. Okay, one, two, three, go. In the ear, ah, namna gani. The word of God. We speak it with power and authority. So one, two, three, go. In the ear that King Uzia died, I saw the Lord sitting upon a throne high and lifted up and his train filled the temple and the very first time I heard of this word I, I was entering into a season I did not know I was going to go through a season but Kumbe I was being ushered into a season and it was one of my very difficult season it's a milestone in my life I don't think I'll ever forget about it you, you know where you look back and say, I'm in it all. So, and I remember, I, I did not know I was going to enter that season, but that is the word that the Lord ushered me with into this season. And I remember I called my home cell mom, and I told her this and that had happened. And the only word she said is that, don't worry, when Kilmuzia died, I saw the Lord. It hit different. I'd read it before, but it hit different that time. And she kept calling me and telling me, the only word I have for you is that when King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. Allow King Uzziah to die because you will see the Lord. And so I want us to understand who this King Uzziah is and why after his death or why after he died, did Isaiah say that he saw the Lord? And we are going to just go through what or some of the things that he did and to understand who King Uzziah really is. And this we can find in the book of 2 Chronicles chapter 26. Uh, yes, there we go. And the Bible says that all the people of Judah took Uzziah. The Bible says Uzziah because he had not become a king yet. So then all the people took Uzziah, who was 16 years old then. Huku, niufike 18 dopewe aidi, bwana sifiwe. But he was only 16 years old then. And the Bible says, and they made him king in the room of his father, Mazai. Meaning he was, he who was supposed to be the king was his father, Amaziah. But they surpassed the father and took this small boy. 16 years old, and made him king. Let's go on. He built and restored, and he did things. Verse 3. 16 years old was Uzziah when he began to reign. I want you to note that. And he reigned 52 years in Jerusalem. 
this small boy reigned for 52 years. By the time he was leaving the throne, he was 68. We did the math in the morning. Bonus, if you will. I want you to take something to note. That he reigned 52 years. There's something you can't ignore. The staying power. You may talk about a king, but you can't ignore the staying power, whether you like them or not. Oh, you may not really love uh, President Museveni, but you can't ignore him. Staying power. There's something he knows that those people don't know. Staying power. Today, if we, when we are talking about the history of the presidents of this nation, we can't talk about President Moi briefly. 24 years. Staying power. And so we cannot afford to ignore King Uzia, who reigned for 52 years. And he took it without experience. In fact, in that race, he beat even his dad. There's no way you can ignore King Uzia. And so there's a reason why Isaiah is saying, when King Uzia died, I saw the Lord. You cannot ignore King Uzia. And the Bible continues to say, let's go on from verse 4. For, and he did right, and he did that which was right in the sight of the Lord. When the Bible recognizes that someone did something right in the sight of the Lord, like Pastor Bishop JB says, it is not for entertainment, there is a meaning. So when the Bible says that he did right in the sight of the Lord, I told you there's something he must have been doing right. This guy was seeking the Lord, and he was living right with the Lord. And the Bible compares him according to what, according to all that his father Amaziah had done. The Bible recognizes he may not be so holy in the standard of the Lord, but comparing him with his father, now you see why he got the seat and his dad did not. Let's go slowly. Verse 5. And he sought the Lord in the days of Zechariah, who had understanding in the visions of God, and for as long as he sought the Lord. God made him to prosper. This man was no cheap man. This man honored prophets. He was doing it right. Buana Sifiwe. Take us back. And it says, for as long as he sought the Lord, for as long as he kept doing it right, he continued to prosper. Buana Sifiwe. So this guy had favor with God and even with man. Buana Sifiwe. And so I get to wonder, why, the, why then did, uh, did Isaiah say that when King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. This was a great man anyway. So why? And the Bible continues to say that this guy would go to war. <clears throat> he would win against the Philistines. He, will, he would win against the Melnites. In fact, there is a verse that says the Ammonites I guess, they used to bus, and the Ammonites gave gifts to Uzziah, and his name spread abroad to the entering in of Egypt, for he strengthened himself exceedingly. Let me just dwell there. And the Ammonites gave gifts to Uzziah. You know what that means? They came to bow. When, when you let say. When, 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 when you let say. Since you took on like when you let say. They would even bring gifts. There are another version says they would bring tribute, as in this is just to let you know we honor you. Why then would Isaiah say that after King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord? Just, just take me back to that verse. And the Bible says his name spread abroad even to the entering in of Egypt. For Egypt to be mentioned, it means also it was not a cheap city or a cheap state. As in paka wale wase wawase, waliko wanam tambua, buana sifiwe. Even the enter, the en, in the entrance of Egypt, they would know. They knew King Uzia was there. Buana sifiwe. And so we go on. And we see that he used to do great things. The Bible says that he would. Bring down walls. You know what bringing down walls meant in those days? You see, we talk about the wall of Jericho came down. Okay. Because walls used to fortify cities. And strong cities used to be fortified by very great, very, very great walls. And so this guy was so really 
A strong man. In fact, the Bible calls him in verse 8, exceedingly strong. You see? For he strengthened himself exceedingly. Another uh, 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 version says he was exceedingly strong. The Bible does not say that just, to, just for the sake of saying. And he would bring down walls, meaning he would bring down cities. And if you continue reading, it says he also used to build cities. This guy was not just ruling his people. He was even building cities and bringing down those that he wanted. This guy used to build towers in the, in the desert. Do you know what it takes to bring towers in a desert? Hakuna hata maji. Sasa corrugation huku ilikuwe nafanyika aje na concrete. But this guy would do it. This was a great guy. So why after his death would Isaiah say that I saw the Lord? And the Bible says that he was so great that he had a fighting army. In fact, the Bible says, talks first about fighting men. Meaning he had those men and they were in thousands. And besides those ones, he had a fighting army. So you wonder why the men and the army, I thought they were the same thing. But if the Bible talks about them separately and given different numbers, it means they were both there. Whatever their role was, they were there. This guy was, so, was that. They were so rich such that they didn't have to import they are weapons like we do in this country. They used to make their own weapons. Such that ukiwakuta ya anatuatu kwa anachapa grenade. Kwa sababu akonayo, they didn't have to buy. They had it. Bible says that he had such livestock, farmers, all things. This guy was doing really great. This guy was doing really great. But something happened from verse 16. Let's see it. I want us to read together, one, two, three. But when he was strong, his heart was lifted to his destruction. Wait there. That after he had become strong, he forgot who it is that he was looking up to. And then his heart was lifted. Instead of the name of the Lord being listed, lifted, his heart was lifted and was brought to destruction. He began to get it wrong. You see... The Bible talks about those that are humble and it says they are exalted by the Lord himself. Be humble and he will lift you up. Isn't that what the word of God says? But when you get, when you exalt yourself, when your heart gets lifted like King Uzziah's, what happens? Nikiburi inaingia, kichwa inakuwa kubwa, your crown refuses to fit anymore. So you have to remain humble for your crown to fit. Tell your neighbor, remain humble. Your crown needs to fit. So he became strong and forgot about the Lord. And his crown could not fit anymore. Let's go on. We were reading together. For he transgressed. One, two, three, go. For he transgressed against the Lord his God and went into the temple of the Lord to burn incense upon the altar of incense. Ha, makosa. Ambia jirani yako makosha. Makosha. What did you from? Makosha. Na kuingiri apo. So his heart is lifted now that he's strong. He even finds himself or thinks himself so superior to even come and burn incense on the altar of the Lord. I'm talking to parents in this service. We didn't say this in first service. Wewe unona mtoto wako wakikuja kucheza na drums hapa. Unasa wacha acheze. Anazipenda. You... You are joking with the destiny of that child. Vitu za alta azichezewi. It doesn't matter if you are a king or not. Even King Uzziah began to go down at that point. You don't choke with the altar. And I, 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 I want to say this because I said it also in the first service. That yes, we are created in the likeness of God. Isn't that what the Bible says? It says we have been created in his image. But let that not confuse you. You may be created in his image, but you're not God. There are things about God that man can never have. There are things about God that make him God in as much as we've been given dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air, and over all things. You still cannot be God. 
When the Bible says that God is omnipresent, he can be here and everywhere else. You cannot. He is God and only he can do that. When the Bible says that he is omnipotent, all-powerful, my friend, anafanya mambo ambayo mwanadamu hawezi fanya. Anatoa faraja ambayo mwanadamu hawezi toa. Hafananishwi na kitu kingine. How fun Hallelujah. How is ya kafanana na kitu chochote? When the Bible says that he is omniscient, that he is all-knowing, only he can know all things. And that's why he says in the book of Jeremiah 33, 3, that you can only seek me for me to show you a great and unsearchable things. You can never know them by yourself. You can only work with him. So he alone is God. And so when he says do not burn incense on the altar, it may have been a very cheap job because it's a priesthood job, but it was only for the priest, not him as the king. And the psalmist says that only you, God, are all-knowing. That even when I was being secretly woven in my mother's womb, even when my own mother could not see me, even if I was in her belly, you knew about me. You had even written a book about the things I would do. So where can I go to run from you? That even if I go to the heavens, I'll find you. Even if I built a bed in the hells, I would still find you. Maybe... I would hide myself in the darkness, but day and night are all the same to you. So we may be created in his likeness, but he remains to be God all by himself. And that's where King Uzia began to get it wrong. He thought because he had become so supreme and people like the Ammonites would come and give him tribute because they were great people. People knew him even in the entrances of Egypt that he could be God, but he forgot that he was just king in the earth, known until the entrances of Egypt. But there was one God who is king from generation to generation. And when he says it, you have to obey. So if he says this is a cheap job, but it's not for you, it's for priests, please don't burn the incense. And that's where our great king began to get it wrong. And the Bible says after he did that, he was struck with leprosy. His life became miserable. And this guy died. Takes me back to Isaiah 6 1. If you could take us back there. Isaiah 6 1. Isaiah 6 1. And that's where we say, in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord. It says, I saw the Lord sitting on a throne, high and lifted up, and his train of majesty filled the temple. Isaiah was disillusioned and discouraged. How could a great man like this just die like that? How could someone begin so triumphantly and end up so tragically? Isaiah was sad. Isaiah could not understand it. And that only means, therefore, that to begin well is not good then. It's not just enough. You have to keep in the race. A good Christian keeps running. They know the battle. The run is not to the swift. They know the race is not to the swift or the battle to the strong. They must keep running, checking with the Holy Spirit, looking behind where the devil is, keeping it to the cross because they must keep looking if they have to finish it right. They know and understand well that the end of a matter is better than its beginning. So this guy began well and ended up so tragically. Uliyanza naroho. Uliyanza na. Maliza na juu na juu. Ume malizia. Oh, uliyanza naroho. Ambe ya jariani yako. 
Ulianza na roho. Na mwili. Kuanza na roho. Kumalizia na mwili. And a good Christian knows that we have to put on the fire, the, uh, the armor of God. Keep fighting on our way. Keep running with precision and understanding. Checking it with the Holy Spirit because this race is not to the swift. You may run too fast thinking it's about the swift, but speed kills people. Only Jesus is a sure bet. You have to keep running and checking with him. So when King Uzziah died, Isaiah says, I, I saw the Lord. It had gotten to a place even prophets like Isaiah saw this king, king exalted. And I love the fact that the Bible says when King Uzziah died. It just didn't say Uzziah like the other verses. When King Uzziah died. Kingship means places of authority and dominion. So what is dominating in your life must die for you to see the Lord. That thing that is so dominant in your life. That thing that you're bowing to unknowingly like Isaiah. Isaiah didn't know. It is after Uzziah's death that he saw the Lord. It's like a realization. It's like his eyes opened. The scales fell from his eyes. Light came in and darkness could not overcome the light. And he saw the Lord. And he says that I saw the Lord seated upon the throne. Can you take us back to seated upon the throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. He got to realize that Uzziah was just the king, the king in Jerusalem. But there was one king who was the king of kings. His fame was from generation to generation, and not just to the entrance of Egypt. And so King Uzziah must die. Tell your neighbor, King Uzziah must die. King Uzziah must die. I don't know what King Uzziah it is that you have in your life. Could it be that job that you have, that business? No, by, for some reason, you don't joke with the devil. Anaku unapata customers more on Sunday. Than ukuje kanisa. Uzuma, whoa, yaki na dosande na uzanga. Wednesday, let's go karibu kufunga. Ukuje ibada. Kuna shinda kumeka ukamchana? Six. Wananza kuja. No, wanachukua bigger stocks. Unasuma, whoa, yaki. Nile kulilia mungu wa subuyu meni kumbuka 6.30. You have to walk in discernment to understand what is going on. Sometimes the devil masquerades himself as an angel. Oh, you know when Jesus was tempted, even the devil was using the Bible to just bring him down. Ah, so Jerusha kutoka hapa kwenda chini, and the Bible says that he shall send his angels to hold you, that you will not hurt your feet on the stone. So he can do those things that you think, yeah, you can only walk in discernment, checking with the Holy Spirit to know what is really happening in your life. King Uzziah must die for you to see the Lord. Maybe your King Uzziah is money that you can do anything in this world. Borrow pate do. Kuna kastori kengene niliambia pa watu wafa service juu kama ntawambia. But, wawa umeshikuwa na askari. Anakuambia unajoi makosa ukonayo. Niki kuandiki ukienda kwa kotini yu natuwa 10,000. Wait after ya chai. Tuwa elfu moja wacha mambo mingi. Lakini jo masani mbaya na niyabiashara, you forget you are a person of the altar. Unalilianga mungu kwa hii madhabaha. Unatua hongo we. King Uzziah must die. And I say that because I know it's a common thing. Nilikuwa ni meshiku wa karibu tu. Ay, kwanza alinipata. Guys, kama mjui, ninauzanga mayai. Nishaisema briefly. Ninauza mayai mimi. Sasa wakati nilikuwa, kuna wakati not so long ago, I think a week ago, there about 10, 7 to 10 days ago. Mimi hivi, 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 overlapping, 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 because meeting was starting at 8. It is 7.55, injury time. Haya. Na ofisi iko pale, tunayona. Siyeri ni overlap ningie. Sema kupita, 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 kupita. Blue boy mbele angu. 
Anakuambia bado mtoka. Habari <laughs> ya leo? Eh, yeah. unaenda wapi? Unaambia haki mimi nafanya kazi hapa nilikuwa nakimbia mkutano eh, waambie leo watakungoja. Mdosi ni yeye anakungoja leo ni wewe watangoja. Haya. Nasema, do you know I'm not just meeting my kawaida boss? In fact, I was not meeting my boss. My boss had taken ill and there was an important uh, management meeting. So I was the one who was supposed to sit in for her. So I'm meeting boss of my boss. Hey! Devil is a liar. Kidogo po blue boy. Sema makosa. Sem uju ju seme jujui. Sema makosa. Makosa. Ndani ya gari nimejeza mayai. To. Haya. Rafiki yangu akizunguka hivi anapata mayai imelalishwa mpaka viti mayai imejaa stoki imeka pa. Akaniambia Allah, madam sio overlapping tu. Yaani contravening the insurance hii nasoma nini private car hii nini iko ndani mayai we mambo yako hata siwezi we mkutano hata. Hey. Check the time 7:50. Oi guy. We. Akishetani wewe. Oh shetani lakini anaka. Lakini oh shetani ana attempt mpaka Jesus ni mtoto wa Mungu. Mimi anaweza kanibakisha. Wacha nikwambie. Karibu nitoe 500 ya haraka haraka. Wacha mtu ajiseme. Nikakumbuka uwe. There's an altar that I serve him. And you can't lie. You can't transgress that altar. So I held in. Akongea sasa hata amenichelewesha ni 803. 803. Na mkutano yeye inaanzanga 759. Hiyo ya huwa bosi ya tuchezange. Hey. My Jesus. Hika semekana sasa ni twende Spring Valley. Nani akwambie kwanza nilimwachia gari kwanza nikimbia huko kwa ofisi nikimbia niseme nimekuja ni venye nimeshikwa nikafika nikasema uoi mimi hata musi nimalize mimi nikikuja nimeshikwa wapi chungulia hapo chini ndio ile gari because it was just about i was just about to enter the lane into the office Nikolzo umeshikiwa nini? And so my boss is trying to help me to help me here and there. Nini nini? Namwambia hata nimechelewa nikikuja mkutano. Uwezi mwambie kuna mayai iko kwa gari. Atasema ufanyangi kazi yake vizuri. Kazi yako ni kuza mayai, alafu unajifanya unakujia mshahara na umechelewa hapa. So again I'm scared. I'm very careful with my words. He must not know anything about the eggs. Sema kuumana. Haisha. Asubuhi ambayo ni 8 am na inakaa kama 5 pm umechoka. I could like hey, 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 there's another inspector I know and now he starts making calls but I'm very, I, I, I'm trying to make sure asionge ndio yule alinishika. Mimi mambo ya mayai sitaki kusema. Ule wa mayai jue mambo yake ya mayai. Huu akuchelewa jue mambo ya kuchelewa. Mtu akaya kijua na story yake. Don't 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 skip to your lane. Mambo ni maya. Gumu wewe. Why? Things can be thick. Sometimes you can be forced to transgress the altar without knowing. And so Isaiah had really glorified King Uzziah without his knowledge. And he had not realized it because this was a great man anyway. Everyone was bowing to him. But when King Uzziah died, something changed. Light came in. Darkness could not overcome it and the name of Jesus Christ could only be lifted one as if you were And so those things that you're glorifying today and you have blessed them in the in the way of God that business I want to remind you that the Bible says that the heaven and earth shall pass away only his word shall remain you had better align with his word you had better sit right with the Lord don't let King Uzziah confuse you you need to keep it right with the Lord just a little thing and King Uzziah died and a miserable death I know a good marriage is good Na ninajua kikua kwa nyumba atakangi uende sana Sima kikua kwa nyumba atutokangi sana tunakanga home tuna watching online lakini hata leo hatujaweza kuwatch online kwa nampikia mayai wewe mayai atapita yangu karibu yapite Neno la Mungu tu ndo litasimama ndilo nilishikilia mimi nikasimama ningeshikilia hiyo mayai ingepasuka yote wewe ujui Some of you your king Uzziah are unforgiveness 
uliolewa mme akakufa wakakuibia kila kitu mpaka watoto and so every day all you're carrying is unforgiveness my friend those people are not are not worth your ticket to heaven release them nothing is worth your missing heaven nothing King Uzziah is not worth to see the glory and splendor in the king of kings that we serve. The Bible says in the book of Psalms 55, 22-23, that even the psalmist had a good friend. He says, I was betrayed by a friend. A friend that I loved and I even lent my hand to him. His words were smoother than butter. Ata wamze wako wana smoother than butter wewe. But who Rafiki was some Mr. Alukwa mpaka na maneno smoother than butter and he was still betrayed. Please release those people they are not worth missing heaven. Oh can I bring it to your attention that even Jesus was betrayed after healing their diseases after restoring their sight after raising their dead they still betrayed him you're not the first one get up and look up to Jesus. King Uzia is not worth you're missing heaven. Some of you, it is relationships that you're keeping. You have business partners whom you know very well. Every time they present a business idea, two things happen. One, those businesses are not legit. Two, every business idea they venture into prospers. Mambo, inaza kuwa tight. So they are not legit, but everything they do pro. And every time, na niile siku ndo una school fees. No ukoshua ile wamekwambia. Si mzuri, but ukoshua kifanya. Pesa itakuja. Shetani anakujenga kika fiti. Pesa brea anatuambia nga kujenga kika reda, meva, hona, nakuambia. Kujenga kika kale kastiano unapenda. Unazima bibi yangu walikuwa nafana na hivya kiwa kastiano. Very nice. Nyeke maji. Wendo umeletua wendo tigal. Ah, nyeke chai. Hata anapenda chai. Squeeze you, you jaribu kupaki wa chai kwa kwa thamo. Unasema ah, squeeze meetings after meetings at party wa kato kunya chai na ribika kwa thamo so eka nayo. Kwa sababu tigal must get a tip aki kubaya maziwa kutegeleze chai. King Uzia looks nice. He was a great king of Tarol. Everyone would bow to him. He did great things. King Uzia, it is that person, that thing that looks so good to you, but you know very well it is not pleasing to the Lord. So some relationships and business relationships and partners, you know, you have to kill those relationships for you to see the Lord. King Uzia must die. You see, the Bible is principle-based. It says, if it says you must do this to get this, you must do it. It says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and everything shall be added unto you. It is, you must seek the kingdom of God and all his righteousness for you to be added unto. So it's principle-based. So if you don't seek... Nothing will be added unto you, sir. So when it says King Uzziah must die for you to see the Lord, my friend, you have no excuse. And so I, I, when I talk about relationships, I get so very interested by Moses. Moses was brought up in the Pharaoh's, in Pharaoh's home. We know that, right? After just something happened in destiny and he had to be brought up in, in Pharaoh's home. But for as long as he was dining and whining with Pharaoh, he was not going to be released into his assignment. That bond had to break. And he even tried to force himself into the lives of the Israelites. When he killed the, the Egyptian that had beaten an Israelite or a Hebrew, the Hebrew. Because he was trying to force his life into them and trying to show them mini wenu, mini wenu. But for as long as alikuwa jioni anarudi kwa farao, he was still compromised. That relationship had to be broken. And it is after he left and ran away to Midian. That one day while he was going, after he had released that relationship and Pharaoh, and, and there was now enmity between him and Pharaoh, that he saw a burning bush and was ushered into his assignment. There are things that are holding you from your assignment. There are things that are holding you to your next level of anointing. I know the Bible talks about the righteous man falling seven times and rising up the eighth time. It is okay because grace speaks for us. But my friend, when you keep on repeating the class, you're delaying your assignment. Let King Uzziah die. You have to let 
King Uzziah die. Some of you, your King Uzziahs are the tests and trials that you're going through. But the Lord is waiting for you to pass that test. You see, Jesus, when he came down from fasting, the first person he meets is the devil. You think, he was in his human nature. The first person he meets, he meets is the devil. Tells him, what is mkate? It got deeper. Ya mwisho li muambia, ah. He mali yote. He's a building, he's a nini, 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 nizangu. If you would worship me, I will give them to you. Okay, let me bring it to your understanding. Worship is important. Even the devil wants it. So when we ask you here to worship the Lord, the Bible says that you were created to declare his praises and to worship him alone. Sing with me. And so here is the devil trying to beg Jesus, please worship me and I'll give you all these things. He forgot that Jesus knew that everything, in, that the earth and everything in it belongs to the Father. So you may own these things that you're seeing, but he, dunia, all of it, and everything in it. Jesus had to pass that test for him to enter into his assignment. And it is after he passed that test, the Bible says that he went about preaching, and he began to recruit disciples, and he went full force into his assignment. My friends, some of your King Uzziahs are not money. Where were Pesa Ikumalizi? But some of them are the test that you keep falling. That tiggle that you keep sleeping with, God forbid. When you keep repeating that class, you're delaying your assignment. Where were I? Yako, yako, see last of the flesh. Labda yako ni last of the eyes. Yako, labda wumi okoka sana, see last of the eyes. Bible talks about pride of life. No kwapo kiniambia una pride. My friend, niju bado ujafika level ya kinguzia. Aya, wacha ni bring it down. Niju ujafika level ya bishop. Wewe tungekua tunakuwenea view sasa. Pride of life. But you must not let kinguzia cost your ticket to heaven. Kinguzia must die. Kinguzia must die. And the Bible says in Psalms 119 verse 18, if I can get that, as we conclude. Open your eyes that you may see or behold wondrous things out of the law of the Lord. That it is after your eyes open, after you allow King Uzziah to die and the light of Christ come into you, darkness to be overcome, that you will begin to see great and wonderful things of the law of God. But for you to get to this level, King Uzziah must die. And I want you to take me back to Isaiah 6.1 and we see the wonderful things that began to happen to him when he saw, when King Uzziah died. He says in the year that King Uzziah died, I also saw the Lord seated upon the throne, high and lifted up, and his train filled the temple. You begin to see the man that who, who when he opens doors, no man can shut. You begin to see the man who can do things that your parents cannot do. You begin to see the man who sets people free. And when he does it, does it completely. You begin to know or to see him in his majesty. Oh, you begin to see him who allows the sun to rise and to set. You know when you wake up to pray in the night because unangingana na shetani. Nyu wate mnakuanga mengojea. Hata shetani ya kuwa kingojea usiku. Because it is God who decides when the sun will rise and, the sun, and when the sun will set. Because only he, God, can do that. So when King Uzziah dies, you begin to see him and his sovereignty. Filled with glory and honor, beauty and splendor. You start seeing the Lord God and uh, the Lord strong and mighty. You begin to see the undefeated king. You begin to see beyond those problems. You leave that Mubaba, my friend. You see the provision of the Lord. The one when he gives you. You cannot take it away. Who gives and gives permanently? 
But you must allow King Uzziah to die. I want you to just raise up to your feet and ask the Lord, who is my King Uzziah? Give me the grace to release King Uzziah. Because something happens when, when King Uzziah dies. We begin to see the Lord high, highly exalted. And when he is exalted, he brings men to himself. Kings bow down to him when he's lifted. Destinies are changed. Where they called you by your problems and called you the blind but admires, you begin to see visions. You begin to build cities because he is God. Where they called you the barren Hannah, they begin to call you the mother of the great prophet. When they called you Sarah, the barren one, you begin to be called the mother of nations. Where they associated you with your problems, they begin to call you and ask you, who is your God? Where can I find him? But you can only get to that level when you are looking Uzziah to die. So I want you to just raise your voice and tell the Lord, please Lord, help me realize who my King Uzziah is. Isaiah did not know that he had already exalted King Uzziah too much. So you may not know who your King Uzziah is or you may be knowing. Begin to release them to the Lord. God, give me the grace to release King Uzziah. I am tired of worshipping money. I am tired of worshipping my boss. I am tired of worshipping my, 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 my pastors. I am tired to worshipping people. I am tired of begging. I want King Uzia to die. I have to see you, Lord. I have to see you today. I have to see you highly exalted. I have to see you magnified. My name must change. I know King Uzia must die for me to enter into my level of us, to my, to my level of a new assignment. Please, Lord, help my King Uzziah to die. Lord, I may be standing on this altar and not even know what my King Uzziah is. Not know, my God, that there is another domination in my life. That there is another kingship in my life. I may not know, but today, Lord, begin to reveal to me who my King Uzziah is. I want to see you, Lord. Open my eyes that I may see you. Open my eyes that I may see you. Silence every noise around me that I may hear you. Time has come where I have to move into my next level of assignment. I have failed the test too much. I have repeated the same class every now and then. All I do is to come back and repent and then repent and then repent. It is delaying my assignment. Give me the grace to pass the test. Lord King Uzziah must die. King Uzziah, hear the word of the Lord today. Hear the word of the Lord today. Hear the word of the Lord today. Release me. It's about time I entered. I entered into my next level of assignment. King Uzziah, you must die. King Uzziah, you must die. Lord, I'm sorry for exalting King Uzziah so much. I'm sorry for giving him such time. A lot of your time. Lord, today I pray for the grace to run away from King Uzziah. To allow him to die. His time must come to an end. Because time must come that I must see you glorified and exalted. Highly lifted up. Clothed with beauty and splendor. Highly exalted. Filled with glory and honor. Lord, I want to see you. Open the 